All right, the second half of the weekend is going to be very busy for us as we'll continue to see the light to moderate snowfall and also some gusty winds at times. So here's a look at the next 12 hours as we'll continue to see the snow and those temperatures falling from the upper 20s and lower 30s down into the mid to lower 20s by early tomorrow morning. Then some teens headed your way and you notice how the snowfall continues to stick with us right on through the 9 o'clock hour. So we're getting the moderate snowfall right now. You can see that with the darker shadings of the purple. That's extending all the way from West Bend on into Oconomowoc and Milwaukee at this time. So far, we've seen anywhere from about one to three inches of snowfall. And of course, the winter weather advisory continues to be in effect until noon for tomorrow as we're going to see some gusty winds at times that will lead to some blowing snow across the area. And it's going to continue to be for the most part a steady snowfall for us with an additional one to three inches possible. And that will lower the visibilities at times as those winds gust up to about 30 miles per hour, so we're not done with the snowfall yet. It's going to continue and be the heaviest through the overnight into early Sunday morning. So here's a look at 1130 as we go into the next hour. Or so we're seeing most of the snow anywhere from Sheboygan back towards Watertown, not so much across southeastern Wisconsin, or I should say we're seeing in Kenosha County, so extreme southeastern Wisconsin. But then it starts to pick back up again as we head towards 830 tomorrow morning. And after that, we're gradually clearing out from the west towards the East with the snow really wrapping up around midday along the lakefront, and that's where we could see the heaviest snowfall upwards of over five inches expected. So it's going to be a windy and cold night for us with the snow continuing, expecting anywhere from about three to four inches from Whitewater westward on towards Madison, then from Beaver Dam into Oconomowoc into Milwaukee, upwards of five inches, and then five plus inches from West Bend to Sheboygan, as we'll see the snow wrapping up last along the lakefront. Current temperatures are sitting into the upper 20s and lower 30s in most spots with the exception of Green Lake. They're already down to 17. We'll see that colder air filtering in as we head towards the overnight, but it's going to be uh, very slick out there as the temperatures in some spots are hovering uh, just below the freezing mark or just above the freezing mark. So here's what you can expect for tomorrow morning. The snow will continue. It's going to be windy at times with that southwesterly wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour gusts up to 30 a high of 19 tomorrow with the snow ending right around a midday or so then mostly cloudy and we'll actually wrap up tomorrow afternoon with a few peaks of sunshine but that's going to be short lived because we actually have another system that will head our way late Monday evening so enjoy the sunshine while it lasts on Monday so we'll start it out mostly sunny wrap it up with some snow by Monday night and continue to see uh, chances for snow especially as we get into Wednesday night and early Thursday morning after that our next best chance for snow will be on Friday so We'll see some days of some sunshine and continue to be cold, but we'll also see some days with more snow. And it looks like that snow will stick around throughout most of this week on the ground. That's good to hear, I think. I know a lot uh, of people will be yes, happy with that. You know, a lot of people February saying, in Wisconsin. Yeah, they, they've been saying it hasn't been winter, but there you go. Here we go. All right. Thanks, Alicia. And